It always feels good when you are appreciated. SLT Non-Stop Broadband. Free loyalty data added as you stay connected. Link at the time of the day, you will be able to get the money. Mom, what are you doing? headlines tonight. Further bows as the coronavirus death toll reaches 362 while 17,000 infected. China's stock market value wiped out by $445 billion. Chinese ambassador insists that Sri Lanka not allow fear to mar ties. High flying. Attorney General orders CID to seek warrant for arrest of former Sri Lankan Airlines CEO Kapila Chandrasena and his spouse on money laundering charges. Right choice. SLPP Chairman Professor G.L. Pires explains the only winning formula the country needs. Symbolic win. Opposition leader Sajid Premadasa appoints MP Ranjit Madhumabandara as General Secretary of the new UNP Alliance. All this and much more coming up tonight on First at Nine, this Monday, the 3rd of February 2020. Hi, I'm Ashwin Kumar. This is Other There Enough First at Nine, live from Studio 24 in Colombo. A very warm welcome. This is First at Nine, your English service on Other There Enough 24, and I'm Indeepa Riyamwatha. We begin with your developing story tonight. Now, the death toll due to the novel coronavirus has now risen to 362, with over 17,000 people having tested positive. Meanwhile, Chinese stocks recorded their worst day in nearly 13 years, as investors finally got a chance to react to the worsening coronavirus outbreak, returning from a long holiday due to the Lunar New Year. The drop came despite the Chinese central bank pumping about 171 billion US dollars in additional liquidity into the financial system to help cushion the blow of the virus outbreak. The death toll from the new coronavirus exceeded that of the SARS outbreak in 2003 and 2002 in mainland China as Chinese authorities struggled to tackle the outbreak of the deadly coronavirus. However, the number of recoveries nationwide has also risen in recent days, suggesting that the new virus's fatality rate is relatively low. China's Health Commission reported yesterday that there were 475 recoveries and 362 deaths nationwide. Meanwhile, the 1,000-bed Haunshan Hospital in Wuhan, built within the space of two weeks, has been completed and was handed over to People's Liberation Army medical personnel tasked with handling the treatment of China's coronavirus infected. Construction of the hospital began on 24th January with a crew of 7,000 people working around the clock. Additionally, a joint expert group of 15 people has also been set up to guide the hospital's epidemic prevention and control on the spot. Among the military medical staff, many have participated in the fight against SARS in 2003 or in the anti-Ebola mission in Sierra Leone and Liberia and have rich experience in treating infectious diseases. A second dedicated hospital with 1,300 beds is also expected to be ready later this week. Meanwhile, the Chinese government accused the United States of causing panic in its response to the coronavirus outbreak following Washington's decision to declare a public health emergency and deny entry to foreign nationals who had visited China in the past two weeks. Meanwhile, Chinese stocks recorded their worst day in years as investors finally got a chance to react to the worsening coronavirus outbreak. 
the Shanghai Composite plummeted 7.7% and the Shenzhen Component Index fell nearly 8.5% on their first day of trading after an extended Lunar New Year holiday. The losses wiped out a combined $445 billion in market value. The drop came despite the country's central bank pumping about $173 billion in additional liquidity into the financial system. In a backdrop where most of the countries are imposing travel restrictions on Chinese nationals, the world's tallest building Burj Khalifa lit up yesterday in solidarity with China over the coronavirus outbreak. Meanwhile, the group of 33 Sri Lankans flown back to the country are still under strict quarantine at the Diyatalava army camp. In the meantime, the Sri Lankan Airlines crew who braved the risk of coronavirus and volunteered to bring back students entrapped in Wuhan expressed views about their experience to media today. <laughs> These brave hearts were appreciated by the president this afternoon. Now, in the backdrop of increased fears with regard to the coronavirus epidemic, the Chinese government called upon the Sri Lankan public to not pursue a policy of hostility towards Chinese nationals. Now, this appeal came in the backdrop of reports of Chinese nationals being of refused service by taxis, hotels and restaurants owing to coronavirus paranoia. Shockwaves following reports in international media of serious endemic bribery by French aircraft manufacturing giant Airbus have stirred up a hornet's nest here in Sri Lanka with President Gotabe Rajapaksa yesterday having ordered an immediate investigation into the allegations of millions of dollars in payouts made to a shell company involved in influencing the purchase of aircraft for the national carrier Sri Lankan Airlines. It was further revealed that the company in question was registered to the wife of an unnamed Sri Lankan Airlines executive. However, all questions over the identity of the executive have been cleared today following Attorney General Dapula de Levera's instructions to the Criminal Investigations Department to seek a warrant for the arrest of former Sri Lankan Airlines CEO Kapila Chandrasena along with his spouse Priyanka Nayomali Vijayanayaka on charges of money laundering. Recent reports in international media and in a UK court filing in connection with the Airbus scandal had revealed payments of 2 million US dollars out of an agreed upon total of 17 million US dollars having been made to a wife of an unnamed airline top executive to influence a 2013 aircraft purchase deal in the company's favour. Following the reports, President Gotabe Rajapaksa ordered an immediate investigation into the allegations. According to the UK court filing, these payments had been made to a Brunei-registered company, Biz Solutions, that acted as an intermediary in the deal that was registered under the name of former Sri Lankan Airlines CEO Kapila Chandrasena's spouse, Priyanka Niyomali Vijayanayaka. The company in question is alleged to have influenced the national carrier to purchase the required aircraft from Airbus. Investigations carried out by the UK's Serious Frauds Office revealed that a sum of two million US dollars had been paid to a Singaporean bank account operated by the company. Investigations had also revealed fund transfers made to an Australian Commonwealth Bank account operated by former Sri Lankan CEO Chandrasena by Vijayanayaka to the tune of 100,000 euros on two occasions, 200,000 Australian dollars on one occasion and a further 200,000 euros on another occasion. After having considered this evidence outlined in a report submitted by the Criminal Investigations Department, the Attorney General has instructed the CID to obtain an arrest warrant for the former Sri Lankan CEO Chandra Sena and his spouse Vijay Nayaka on charges of money laundering. The Attorney General has also instructed the CID to submit a report to the Director General of the Commission to investigate allegations of bribery and corruption given the overwhelming evidence of offences under the Bribery Act committed by Chandra Sena. 
What impact does urbanization, rapid urbanization have on Sri Lanka's wetlands? President Gotabe Rajapaksa at a ceremony organized to mark National Wetland Day highlighted the importance and the need to protect Sri Lanka's wetlands which remain under threat by rapid urban development. The president added that it is an absolute necessity to introduce environmental protection as a new subject into school curricula in order to inculcate the importance of conservation into the mindset of the next generation. The National Wetland Day celebrations were held under the theme Wetlands and Biodiversity with the participation of President Gotabe Rajapaksa at the Apegama premises in Batramulla. Me Rajya Anugraha Labapu Sangwardana Katiutu Nisat Vishala Vashen me te bim vinashavilati bina. Pidanwa isara me pahat bim Tibunu Pradesh, Vishal Pramaniak Nisa, Gangmatura, Shanika Gangmatura, me Pradeshola Tibunine, Nomot Kramen, Mima Godakiri, my Nisa, Pidanwa, Pasugi, Kale Tula, Sulu Arshava Kata Pava, Vishal Gangmatur Vinashak, Atibuna, Visheshen Ted Bimala Radagat Kama, Eva in Labina Progena, Kuda Kali in the Lam, Mitane, Mima Pasal Vala. Vishya Katiat, Handuna Denona, Kitamatma Vadagat, Venoak Mukada, Anit Vishyan Vagema, Parisara, Vishya, Itamatma, Vadagat, Vishyak Babata, Paptila Tibina. Abida Pahuya Kaldi, Samara, Cuba, may value go to the Anna Gota Balapatra and a Pastiga Kapanota Balapatra and Hangila. Abi Vishesha Matiga Janan Pituma Cuba, Mesara, Policia, Hamuda, Har Yodola, Mekatutara Sakaran, Valley Kanim Balapatre Denoma, Kanim Balapatre. Pita, Kisima de Nakamuda Valley Ganda Bay, Merate, Valval Kapala, Valley Adala, Nasreno, Jaravino, Dakin Dapi Kamati Nehaka, the Abis Hamwar, the name, the Kama Samatul Tapping, Arayan, and the Balapatre, Ayakaran in a tour, Andu to Sala, Padua, Valley Parahana Balapatre, Avalam Kiri, Namutapi Atika Jam to Makiwe, Abi Paribo at Sahani Aquare with theatre, Abe Rate, Janaza Avata, Adu Milata Valley Ganda Pula with theatre, make a new Takaran. Speaking at the Education Employees Cooperative Society Scholarship Award ceremony today, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa said that the government will be reviewing laws that hinder the ability of teachers to take disciplinary action against students. The Premier also assured the government's continued support to the country's teachers and promised to ensure that the profession would be given its due place under the current regime. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa took part in the Education Employees Cooperative Society Scholarship Award Ceremony for the academic year 2017 and 2018, held at Temple Trees today. I am the Guru-Rim-Bhavata-Patpen-Vaikyanak-Mamme-Avastavadi-Prakashakaran-Kamadi. <laughs> Duradika Nobala Ginapu Niti Nisa, the Samar Guru, Lameku Tarawa to Karnoatia, Avavadia Karanta Bayai. Samara the Maupio, Tabangi Lame, Guru Reku to Virudo, Pamil Lakolo, Anamasha Matamata Geneno Gila Pedalani, Tabangi Duga Sambandi, Vinekia Margia Kataigila, Parcel at the Gihila, Guru Ria Danagaso, Desa Paranjotia, Guru Danagaso, Mimurata, and you are Ikila Mambisos. Guru and the parcel to the Vinia Portagne and Bada Wak when a needy gana, Samalu Chaniakaran Balaprutuino. Me Sambanding Vinatrata will add the king, Apihadar and Abalno, Obadano, me parliament to Tula, Apirbanatak Samat, Kranno, Balea, Mehe, Munde Karneka, Kran Vinni, Mohammed Yurnekim Passi, Apibalaprutuino, I Sielum, Seva Kerla, Guru Sevia, Sangurta Sevia, Bout Patkarla. Guru Urtiya Sudhu Sutana Labala Dehinda. Then Lala Salaap Venu Mehmetuma. Dhanatabat Egena Kabinat Patrika Vak. Idri Patkar Lai Tienni. Guru Rung Venu Venu Apeyandu Peni Nwakiyanik Mahamatakramandu. 
Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna National Organizer Basil Rajapaksa responding to media questions on the reports of an alliance between the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna and the Sri Lanka Freedom Party stated that even though an alliance is yet to be announced, the two parties will look to contest the upcoming elections under any symbol that guarantees the parliamentary majority the government needs to fulfill its obligations to the public. He made these comments on arrival after a brief personal overseas tour. National organizer for the Sri Lanka Pudujan and Peramuna, former MP Basil Rajapaksa, returned to the country this morning after engaging in a personal overseas tour following the conclusion of the presidential election. He offered his thoughts on the upcoming parliamentary elections to waiting media personnel. <laughs> Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna Chairman Professor G. L. Pires responding to repeated statements by opposition leader Sajid Premadasa on a possible future government of cohabitation between the SLPP and the UNP stated that President Gotabe Rajapaksa and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa's combination is the only effective one the country needs at this time. A media briefing was held at the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna party headquarters this morning in Bataramulla. Except Jatika Pakshi, Kandaima, you know, Sajit Premadas, Parliament to a Bahutaria Clubagina, Gotabe Rajapaksa, Atigaru Janatuma Samaga, Medakirimata, Kemetten, Sitinak. Api me mate, some poor name, Pratik Shepaka. Rate Prashna Visandala, Andu Idiriate Geneam Sandha, Avashevene, Atigaru Gotabe Rajapaksa Metuma, Janatipati Hatiata, Garu Mahinda Rajapaksa Metuma, Agamati Hatiata, and eh, Susang Yoga, my Janata. Sri Lankan Airbus, Sushi the Galudunuak Samanding, Itapu with the Hag in the Haragi, Birindet, Labadun, Dollar, Million, Da Hataka Allasa, Mesambanding, Napata Kisik Keneku, Rakin Navashene, Das the Hatune Unanang, Pahugia, Perajeka, How they were at the Kale, Kuhoma de Kare, Wahama, Ongatarangudagando, Janadi Putwani Sutuantano, Itama Ikmani, Mesambanding of Butumagi, Avadane, Yomuma Samban, Uma Pahadilua, Mevatawaka Q, the Kauda, How the Mehitabu with the Haikan Iladaria, How the Hogi Birinda, Kieneka Sambanding, Rata. Except Jatika Paxeta, Mesidone, the Das Pahaleve, Kumantronek in Tama Merate, Balela Baga. Other Ditadama Vedania, Karme other, UN Piakata Padisan Dilati. Sri Lanka Nidas Paxesa, Sri Lanka, Podujana Peramun, Sandanik in the Mahometi Ribat Win. Ahuge Janadi Petiverne, Venakota, Yamyam Givusum Gatavela, Yamam Ekaba de Velatama, Janadi Petuna Tapi, Vedakali. Diriata, Parliament to Mativernegis or Rupe Yam. Venasuena, Ek the district Matamatamai, Apiti into Tiranaganda Ven, Evela Avata, Tapi, Suluma Paksa, Teka Boma, Sahodara thing, Ratata the Rekana, Vadapula carried the Mapi Dripati. Utoman Lagan Mahindraja Paksa Mahatmea, my three policies in Mahatmea, Samanai, Kyokil Hatavaki, and Nika Omad. Samanai got to be living the Ape Kameta. Ape Paksi, Parma Darshi Naike, Mahindraja Paksa, Agamatu. Api Tawat Paksa, Ekaba, the Venakota, Apitama Matibur and Pera, Paksanai Grasuma, Kandavala, Paksanai. Lanka <laughs> Anywhere in Nagan, Janadi Putuma, Agamati Tuma, Ape Mativer and Mehuma, Tama Hunting Griat Nagan, and taking up Mativer and Valetta, Pasha to Padiatina. Opposition leader Sajit Premadasa today revealed that parliamentarian Ranjit Madhuma Bandara will be appointed as the general secretary of their new alliance, which will be formed ahead of the general elections. His remarks came during a meeting with the United National Party's organizers today. Api Nirmane Karana, Podujana Balavegi, Mahale Kambare Hatiata, 
අපේ ಪಕ್ಷයේ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠತම ಮಂತ್ರಿವರೇಕ್ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ಎಕ್ವನ ಗರು ರಂಜಿತ್ ಮದ್ದುಬ ಬಂಡಾರ ಮಹಾಮಾರ ಯೋಜನಾ ಕರಣ ನೇ ಅಪಿ ನಮ್ ಕರಣ ಮೊಕದ ಈ ನಮ್ ಕಿರಿ ಮೇ ಬಲೆ ಅಪಿ ಬೆನೋ ಬುದುಮಾಟ ಸಂದಾನೆ ಮಹಾಲೇಕಂ ದೂರೇ ಲಬಿಮ್ ಸಂಬಂಧಿತ ಹೊಂದ ಇದ್ರಿ ದಿನ ಕೀಪೇ ತುಲಿ ಸಂದಾನೆ ಲಿಯಾ ಬಂದಿಂಚ ಕರಣ ಸಂದಾನೆ ಅಯಾತ್ ಪಕ್ಷವಲ ನಾಯಕಿಯೋ ಈ ವಗೇಮ ಸಜಾತಿಕ ಪಕ್ಷೇ ಸೀರ್ಮ ದೇಶಪಾಲಜ್ಞೋತ್ ಮಹಿಂದ್ರ ಏಕಮತಿಕವ ತೀಂದು ಕರ ಆಕಿರ ಬಡ ದನ ಗಂಟ ಲಬುನ ತೆಂಗ ಬುದುಮಾಲ ಸಂದಾನೆ ಹದಿಮತ್ ಎಕ್ಕಮ ರಣಿಲ್ ಮಹತ್ಯತ್ತ ಕೀಟಿಪ ಪಿರಿಸಕ್ ಕಿರಿಯನೆ ಕೀಪ ದನೆ ಏ ಗುಲ್ಲಂ ಓಯ್ ಸಂದಾನೆ ಕೆ ತುವಿ ಮೇ ಹಕಿಯಾವತ್ ತಿ ಇದೆ ಸೀಲು ದಿನಾಮ ಮೇ ಸಂದಾನೆ ತುಲಿ ಇನ್ನೋ ಲಾಂಚನ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಬದವ ಸಂದಾನ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಹೊದು ಮಹತ್ ಏಗೆ ಉತ್ತಿಯಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ಮಂಡಲೇ ವಿಸಿನ್ සම්මත කර ගන්නට ඕන කුමන ලාංඡනෙන්ද අපි මේ මැතිවරණයට ඉදිරිපත් වෙන්නේ කියලා. අපි පාර්ලිමේන්තුවේ මන්ත්‍රීවරු 58 දෙනෙක් මේ කෘතියාධිකාරි මණ්ඩලයේ තීන්දුවට ඉස්සරලා මගේත් එක්ක ගිහිල්ලා ගරුණ ආයකතමා මුණ ගැහුණා. 58 දෙනාම් ගෙම්ම මතය අපි එක්සත් ජාතික පක්ෂයේ ලාංඡනය අලියා ලාංඡනෙන් මේ මැතිවරණයට ඉදිරිපත් වෙන්නට ඕන කියලා. ඉතාලියේ නාම යෝජනා මණ්ඩලයේ ප්‍රධාන නියෝජිත බලතල කරගන්නේ සජිත් කේරවරු මහතාට With nearly 10,000 Chinese nationals in the country on resident visas and more expected owing to the large-scale development projects undertaken by the Chinese government here in Sri Lanka, China's ambassador to the island nation, Cheng Siyuan, noted the importance of such arrivals to Sri Lanka's tourism economy. He added that all necessary precautions to protect Sri Lanka from coronavirus infection have already been implemented by the Chinese government. With coronavirus fears gripping the public in the past few weeks, the Chinese government has issued a clarion call to all Sri Lankans to avoid pursuing a policy of hostility towards Chinese nationals. Currently, almost 10,000 Chinese nationals reside in the country on resident visas, with more arrivals expected given the massive development projects being undertaken by China. <laughs> මේ රෝගය පැතිරයම් වැලක්වීම සඳහා ගත හැකි සියලු පියවරවන් සෞඛ්‍ය අමාත්‍යංශය ඇතුළුව අනික් ආයතනවලින් අරගැනෙමින් පවතින අවස්ථාවේදී චීන රාජ්‍ය හෝ චීන වැසියන් අපි කොන් කිරීමකට ලක් කරන්නේ නැතුව අපි එකිනෙකා අතර තිබිච්ච ඒ අන්‍යෝන්‍ය සුහදතාවය සම්බන්ධතාවය දිගින් දිගටම අපි රැගෙන යමු. ඉන්ග ජාන් නැ ජෝස් චුන්ගෝ මියන් දුයි ද ජග සින්සින් ගුන් ජාන්病毒肺炎的阻击战它是世界上的世界的难题也就是说我们一起来共同来阻击因为我们认为这个是一个公共事件那么呢在这个过程中中国采取了请南卡的老百姓放心 在国内，我们采取了措施，商务部、中国商务部已经发文要求所有驻外的派出的工人回，就是说在斯里兰卡，包括在斯里兰卡休假的工人，那么呢，就是延缓回到延缓回到斯里兰卡来，也就是说他们
Sri Lanka stocks closed 0.02% stronger today on the back of Salon Tobacco Company shares. The All Share Price Index closed 1.28 up, while the S&P SL20 Index of Liquid Stocks ended 0.16% higher. Market turnover was 388 million rupees. Uh, the Sri Lankan rupee in the meantime closed weaker at 181 rupees and 48 to 52 cents against the US dollar. Here's a brief look at how markets performed during the day. After the policy rate cut and the dip in yields last week, in the bond market, the yield curve for the first time saw a bit of uh, selling pressure uh, today in the bond market, especially in the mid tail maturities. Uh, we saw moderate uh, volumes during the day while overall activities were rather low. Uh, if you take the equity market, uh, the bows ended at the same level as Friday, gaining just by uh, one point. Uh, we saw price appreciations in big caps, uh, Ceylon tobacco and uh, distilleries pushing the uh, index up today. And uh, the benchmark index ASPI witnessed a volatile uh, downtrend reaching an intraday low of 5,917 points and then reversing the losses in the last couple of hours to end flat for the day. Now, Commander-in-Chief of uh, the uh, Land Forces of the Russian Federation, General of the Army, uh, Oleg uh, Salyakov, arrived in the island this morning on an official visit at the invitation of Army Commander Lieutenant General Shravinder Silva. As part of a five-day-long goodwill tour, the Russian military chief will also participate at the 72nd Independence Day celebrations of Sri Lanka as a special distinguished guest tomorrow. Commander-in-Chief of the Land Forces of the Russian Federation, General of the Army Oleg Salyukov arrived in the country today for a five-day official visit, where he's scheduled to meet President Gotabe Rajapaksa, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa and the country's Triforces heads. General Salyukov's official delegation, including his spouse, Mrs. Salyukova Irina, also comprised of Deputy Chief of the Main Land Forces Staff, Major General Vladimir Sviridov, and Assistant to the Commander-in-Chief, Colonel Igor Shtin. General Salikov will be taking part in the 72nd Independence Day celebrations due to be held tomorrow as a special distinguished guest. The Russian military chief is also expected to pay his respects at the War Heroes Monument in Sri Javadanapura before he visits the Sabagaskanda Defence Services Command and Staff College and the Sri Lanka Armoured Corps Regimental Centre as well. That's all we have tonight. Thank you for watching. Good night. Thank you.